last one I'm going to do. This is the last one I'm going to do with um, uh, Liam. It's, it's called uh, Where You At, Bro? Where You At, Bro? Technically speaking, it is not a poem. It is more, technically speaking, it is not a poem. It is more of a, um, a, a rant at the moon. Um, <clears throat> on your marks. Autobiographical statement number nine. I look even more gnarly in my middle age. I am grey and I am bearded. I am nuggety and creased and crinkled in all the wrong places, but I am pleased. I've been hanging around with the pasty-faced geeks and the religious Samoans and the commercial pot growers and the sculptors and the painters and the writers. They are seditious types and troubled lawbreakers, the usual suspects and not your normal movers and shakers but renegade cash under the table workers. They are toiling away in the black economy. They are living in their cars and in hallways and under the motorway overpasses. They are cooking at invisible campsites, clearly in breach of the open fire bans all year round. Now, these people are anti-celebrityists. They are cynics and skeptics and vegan anti-whalers. They are economic disbelievers, Green Party retro enviro activists. They are global warming pessimists. None of them, none of them watch TV. And then there are those at the mercy of the state, the sponges, the bludgers, the poor by choice anti-consumerists, the sack and the tired, the worn out, the ragged prophets, the permaculturalists. And then there are the hackers. The hackers and all their shapes and forms and chipping away at your Bluetooth phone and your ATM, your logins, your password. They are packet sniffing. They are packet sniffing and magnetic strip copying and they're doing it straight off your credit cards and then sold $2 each to shadowy former Soviet Eastern Bloc Europeans short term memory loss Rockstrom, Sicilian, Eastern Seaboard, American connections. Now, my peers, my peers are the fiscal envelope trickle down cellar dwellers. They are the scrap metal scavengers, the dumpster divers, and the avant garde industrial pastoral sound makers. They are the V8 petrol heads wanted by the police and reformed ex smokers or mysterious men who look like uh, stunt double refugees straight out of ZZ Top or Slayer or Megadeth or Meatloaf. Now, it's the decile of a society who own and drive cars without any current rego and warrant of fitness. I know these cars, they are bereft of the turbo blower big bore valve exhausts. A quick glance, a quick glance everybody will tell you that I am no consumer driven materialist with access to hair product by the truckload and I have no need, I fucking have no need for the twee air fresheners made of chemicals which smell vaguely of pine glades and lavender fields and citrus groves. I am not made by child or slave labour in Asian tiger economies and then bought on special during the once a year red shed boxing day sale full stop. My carbon footprint is too small to be noticed and I have a distressingly short battery life coupled with a fragmented and a somewhat over excited brain. My self-imposed poverty means that my six-year-old cell phone is not an object of end of capitalist epoch consumerist desires nor 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 is this phone an extension of my masculinity neither is my 40-year-old car and my 10-year-old laptop both of which 
are totally fucking obsolete. And how I dress, how I dress, how I dress, exclamation mark. And how I look, how I look, how I look. Bespattered, unkempt, permanently awry, much to the choices of the and the despair of the ex-wives so there full stop full stop full stop full stop well done everybody you've safely negotiated the first part of the minefield known as the david mirror poetry experience